So I uploaded my semi-furnished apartment tour video. I end up changing my bedroom once again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I moved the bed from that corner, just, you know, just slid it up there and moved the nightstand here and switched places with the dresser and moved my dirty clothes baskets over there. <laughs> yeah, I did it because when I was sleeping over here, my head would be up against this wall and this wall uh, it's right next to the alleyway and parking lot. You, you can kind of see cars parked right outside my window. Uh, so when I was sleeping over there, uh, I could sometimes hear people getting into their cars early in the morning and driving to work and it would wake me up. So I decided to get as far away from the window as I could. I might even end up changing it uh, once more. I think I might just have the bed like this coming out from the wall and then this nightstand move over there and black nightstand also comes over here. Maybe, but then I won't have all this space. I'll just have like space divided up. I don't know. It could work, maybe. I'll I'll see what I decide to do. I guess I was thinking that the light from the window could keep me awake if, if I were to sleep like this because the, these blinds do not like work. Yeah, see that they're, they're all the way closed and you can still kind of see out. Yeah, they, they don't keep the light out at all. <laughs> so so I, I've actually made this set up like I just got hooks and the, a, a dowel, I think it's called, but it wasn't quite long enough, so I had to get smaller ones and then just hot glue them on so it would stay up, and then I hang a blanket from that. For the other dowels, I think they're called, uh, I hot glued some of them to the bottoms of each one of these drawers on both sides. Because before, it wasn't, they weren't really long enough and they would sometimes fall down uh, onto the drawer below them and it, would, it was hard to open them, but you know, now they're easy to open and close. As you can see, that blanket is new. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I bought it you know, online from a, a charity. And I was thinking about maybe giving it to um, my parents or my sister for Christmas, but yeah, I liked it so much and it, it fits my bed that I decided to keep it. <laughs> and uh, I had already gotten enough gifts for everyone in my family and the same amount of gifts for everyone that I figured it was okay. And the sheets are also different. These are actually the sheets that I meant to order, but I ended up only ordering, you know, one of these, the bedspread, and not 
Oh, it's set like this, but yeah, I got it all exchanged and I like the sheets and the blankets and the bed and everything <laughs> about it. And yeah, Christmas shopping is different uh, when you're an adult than when you're a kid. Because uh, when you're a kid, you, you can't really go out to the store and buy gifts. Uh, you, your parents uh, buy the gifts and then you uh, just put your name on it, really. Or you, you can also help wrap it, too, but... But when you're an adult, you, you're the one who you know, goes out and, and uh, buys the gifts and wraps them. And yeah, that's what I uh, have to do now. Uh, that I'm older. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still, you know, trying to get used to it and, and trying to, uh, uh, like start shopping earlier. Cause, you know, I, I have a tendency just to, Just to wait. Yeah, I have to plan ahead. Like, yeah, a, a lot sooner. Like, especially if I'm ordering stuff online, uh, I have to make sure it gets delivered before Christmas. And I and I think I'm getting better at it. Uh, uh, but but the the problem is that if I don't have an idea of what to buy, then I then I don't know what to buy. Yeah, yeah, if I don't have like a list of stuff that someone would want, uh, then then I'm at a loss. And and yeah, and I don't always get lists from uh, my parents or his sister uh, you know they basically say they're not sure what they want for Christmas or or my mom usually says she wants she uh, wants something like world peace for Christmas and I'm like yeah thanks mom but how am I supposed to get that for you and 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 granted i am the, the same way i i always struggle to come up with a list of what i want for christmas i struggle to to come up with something that i would want to get as a gift so yeah yeah that, that that's hard for me too this year i did get a little bit of a list, but it was basically just stuff that I needed, like like some new uh, clothes and, uh, and, and a couple of things for my uh, apartment. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it actually worked out well uh, getting this apartment later in the year. So, yeah, the, yeah, then I could get stuff uh, for my apartment for Christmas. So yeah, yeah, that, that worked out. Yeah, and, th and this Christmas, I, uh, I feel good about what I got. Uh, I, I got everyone in my family two gifts. Uh, each, yeah, two for my mom, two my two for my dad, and two for my sister, and and actually one of the gifts uh, for my dad, my mom actually got is she she got a uh, got a whole bunch of stuff for him, and 
and I, I didn't know what to get get him, so she, she just gave me one of her gifts. But, uh, but uh, uh, I still got him one other thing, and actually his his birthday is in January, so it's, yeah, it's right after Christmas. So, and yeah, and I I did get him. Uh, is, uh, and I did get him a birthday gift to, yeah, yeah, and th that, that birthday gift actually just happened by chance. I was just in the store, uh, doing shopping for myself and I saw something that, that, that would be great for, uh, a birthday gift. So, so yeah, so yeah, that was lucky. But yeah, I have to have like some direction to, to point me which way to go to get a gift uh, or have some idea in mind about what the person would like so that if I do just see something in the store, I'll, I'll know uh, that the person will like it. Uh, if I get it for them, but like with, with my sister or parents, the those are easier just because I know them for so long and and I've gotten them lots of gifts over the years, so I've I've got an idea of what they want. But for other people, I'll have to like just ask them what they want or ask other people what uh, they would want. Otherwise, uh, I won't know and might not get them a gift or just give them like a gift card or something like that. But yeah, or just, they're just a card which a card is nice, but I would like to get them something a little more meaningful. And yeah, uh, I feel good about all the Christmas gifts I got this year. Uh, the, uh, the, the only thing I would have done differently was uh, get more stocking stuffers. Yeah, 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 more of those. Uh, I think the only thing I got was uh, ho-hos. Uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, in my family, uh, what, when I was a kid, me and my sister would get ho-hos from Santa Claus uh, in, in our stockings. So, so yeah, we we still do that. Uh, uh, even uh, this Christmas. Although the only thing is that I got ho hos, and then I think also my dad or mom got ho hos, so everyone got twice as many ho hos. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, that's the only thing, and I want more of uh, the stocking stuffers. So that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, I know it's, this one is really late and yeah, and I don't really have an excuse because uh, I've got Wi-Fi in my apartment now. So I, I have my computer here and I, I can edit uh, my videos here in the apartment. So yeah, I, I just, I just need to uh, sit down and film them uh, sooner. But yeah, yeah, so uh, until next video, goodbye. This is a really white wall. <laughs> it's really blank. Yeah.
kind of looks weird. Yeah, this is it's just so white behind me. <laughs> uh, I need to decorate the wall. 